Hi friends, welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul, and let's talk mounting servos in wings. Now, normally, most of your aircraft that uh, have uh, um, uh, servos in the wings, they're usually giant scale, some are ARFs, uh, some are, you know, they're the ready to fly. Um, but when you have a plane like this, the canard stick that was designed back, you know, in the 80s. Um, direct drive servo really wasn't a thing. The way you would drive the ailerons is you would have a push rod that would sit in the fuselage and it would drive the ailerons. And the ailerons are going to sit back here. Um, so what we need to do is to come up with a way to be able to do a direct drive servo mount for the ailerons. Now, there's a, you can do something from scratch, and that works great. I picked up two different tray um, kits, if you will. One is from Balsa USA. They sell a flush mount servo tray kit. You can visit them at balsausa.com. And there's another company called National Balsa Company. And you can visit them uh, if you do a Google search for National Balsa Company. They're still in business, and they have a servo hatch uh, set that you can see here, um, and it includes the actual, um, the doors, and it includes a mounting plate as well, also laser cut. And uh, you can see it here. We're gonna wind up using this. It's not that I don't like the Boss USA, it's wonderful, but it's really more for giant scale planes because of the size of the hatch uh, for the actual kit itself and because of the width. Yes, we can cut it down, and we'll have to trim this down a little bit, but it's it's just too big for this plane. But I want to at least show you what's on the market. Plus, if you go to eBay and you do a search for laser cut servo mount, there are quite a number of uh, uh, laser cut servo mounts that are out there that will work equally as well for this. Anyway, so um, the issue is that we have, I put the cap strips in. I, I really should have done this before I put the cap strips on, but you know, lesson learned. That's what we're gonna learn together. So anyway, we what we're gonna do is the plate is gonna be mounted this way. Now we're looking at the bottom left of the wing. Here is the bottom right of the wing. Uh, we're gonna wind up using quarter inch spruce for this to mount in place. And then what'll happen, the key thing is you've got to make sure that this piece sits flush because what will happen is you've got to create a frame going around this such that the covering will attach to it. It'll make more sense as we go along. So right now um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to mount it so that also so that the servo uh, is, on, is this way. In other words, when you, when you mount your servo, you can mount it so that the arm is on this side or on this side. What I mean by that uh, will, will make more sense as we go along. But anyway, the key thing here is we need to make sure this is sitting flush with the cap strips. So uh, we're gonna work this out, figure it out together, and more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here on the Aileron servo installation for the St. Croix models canard stick, let's talk about what we have going on here. So after spending most of the day trying to figure out the best way to add, put on those servo doors, as I mentioned just a second ago, I realized that it is just much easier to just put two pieces of wood like this. Then we'll build a little frame going around here so the uh, uh, ultra coat has something to attach to, and that's it. It is just much simpler. This is a very low profile servo, as you can see. I'm gonna tip it down, very low profile. So therefore, you, you can see how it's, there's not gonna be a lot of drag involved or any major disruption of uh, the aerodynamics of the, uh, of the wing itself. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, real simple, we're gonna, we're, this part here, this piece of wood is gonna be epoxy to the main spar, which will give it the rigidity it needs. And then of course we have that, we're putting it across two piece, two rib, uh, ribs, because that'll give it the, the complete rigidity uh, for this servo. So, all right, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, you can see we've got both servos installed. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and build up this uh, around this frame with some 332nd balsa. 
and then uh, and then that'll be uh, completely finished. Oh, we have to do one more thing after that too. We've got to cut some slots in the ribs so we can take our servo lead and pass it through all the way to the center section. So that way we'll be able to go ahead and attach it to uh, to the receiver and the fuselage. So coming along nicely, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue your update here on the installation of the servos in the wing, uh, we've got our um, spruce installed and we have it, uh, as you can see, it's been epoxied in place up against the uh, front spar. Not a great job here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll take care of that. What I also did to provide a little extra, uh, a little extra strength is we took some triangular stock. You can see it here and put it on each of the, um, Servo rails on both sides of the wing. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and we're gonna start the process of laying in some uh, 130 second balsa should do the trick. So we can build this up around the, uh, around the servo. So we've got uh, a spot for the covering to attach to. Uh, basically, well, let me show you what I'm looking to do here. I've got the GB up here, the Great Plains GB. This is really what we're shooting for in terms of the covering. So that should give you an idea. All right, friends, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here on installing the uh, servos in the wing, you can see we've got our wood built up around the wing. And normally I would just use solid sheets of balsa, but I went ahead and used quarter inch strips. It made things a little easier because of the way it was structured. Um, after going ahead and putting those on, then we went ahead and put some holes in the side of the wing here, or the, or the uh, rib, and then went ahead and put two holes in the um, top of the wing, which is what we're looking at right here. And uh, so it's done as far as installing the servers are concerned. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to covering the wing. All right, friends, more to come. 